one. It is a story of a group of citizen soldiers from Maryland and how their bravery helped turn the tide of the Revolutionary War, saving Washington, the forgotten story of the Maryland 400 and the Battle of Brooklyn. It will be released later this week. And joining us this morning to talk more about the book is the author, Chris Foreman. Thanks Hi. for coming in. Good morning. Steve. So tell us more about this. Um, I, actually, I actually came across this story in a very serendipitous way. Uh, about four or five, and I write, mm -hmm. I write fiction novels. Um, I was, uh, I came across about a one paragraph announcement in the Baltimore Sun uh, announcing a wreath laying ceremony at Prospect Park in Brooklyn. And it was uh, commemorating the bravery of the Maryland 400 who saved America. Mm -hmm. I had never heard of this before, you know. So I did what what you all would do. What you would Google. do what I would do. <laughs> I Googled it, and all of a sudden, this whole story that had been lost in history kind of unfolded mm -hmm. for me. And so we're looking at the cover there. It's these yeah. two teenagers who actually save Washington, right? Um, well, they're actually 400. It's the Maryland militia at the Battle of Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. um, it occurred on August 27, 1776, six weeks after the signing of the Declaration of Independence. Um, the two teenagers, one white and one black, uh, who were part of the Maryland Regiment uh, in, in the novel, uh, they're fictional characters, but everybody else, you know, all the, the British and American uh, military people, the spies, uh, either the locations, everything is real. real. It's an yeah. actual event. Did you, take, yeah, so. did you take your own liberties, I guess, with the novel? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a historical <laughs> fiction. Since there's not much written about it, mm -hmm. um, I had to uh, I had to take the actual events and then create a story, and one of the things that uh, that struck me was, and the Army War College, by the way, you know, helped me in doing the research. One of the things that struck me was that teenagers fight wars, mm -hmm. and so I wanted the uh, for that reason I wanted the two lead characters to be teenagers, and blacks were involved in the Maryland Regiment at the time, and so I wanted one black kid and one white kid, but. Teenagers wouldn't sacrifice themselves for taxes, mm -hmm. you know, and I was always taught that, you know, the American Revolution was because of taxes, Boston Tea Party, tax revolt. But as I got into this, I came to find out that it was much, much more, and mm -hmm. that's not what drove these kids. Mm -hmm. And, and a, a movie is actually being made. Uh, it's been, uh, well, you know, keep my fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. it was, um, it's been optioned by one of HBO's top producers, the producer of, Dead, uh, of Deadwood and Big Little Lies, and, uh, you know, we're hoping that that, yeah. that happens. Good luck to you. I hope so, too. And you've got a book signing coming up, right? Yes. Yeah, I'll be uh, back in Baltimore uh, next Saturday uh, at Barnes and Noble from two to four. Uh, this coming week, I'll be in New York City, you know, full media, and uh, anybody up in New York City, I'll be at the 92nd Street Y on Thursday night. All right, Chris, thank you so much for coming in. Oh, thank you. Uh